Diagram shows two points, P and Q. A positive point charge is right at the center, generating an electric field zip, 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 zip. at both P and Q. Which expression gives the work done moving a positive charge from P to Q? You move a charge from here to here, what's the work done? One thing to note is point charges, the field is like this, right? Radial field um, emanating out, positive. If we want to find the work done, we need to know what is the Q and what's the delta V. How will we know what is any of this? What is the delta V from P to Q? They never give any information about delta V. Nothing. Actually, the change in potential here is zero. So everything is zero. So this one is zero. Hang on a second. How do we know it's zero? If we want to draw an equipotential lines, equipotential means all along this line, the potential is the same. I need to make sure my line is perpendicular to the field. So this circle, actually, this nice circle, is actually an equipotential line, which means all along this circle, if I am at, um, let's say, 20 volts potential, everywhere is 20 volt potential. So if I start here, I'm at 20 volt. Come to Q, it's still 20 volt. So no change in potential. None. You are still at the same potential. So you move charge around, no change. But if I move nearer though, the point charge maybe here, ah, this will be a higher potential. So maybe this is 80 volts. Closer to the charge already, the charge itself maybe is 100 volt. Nah. So all along this circle line, the potential is the same. So if I move in that direction, Perpendicular to electric field, see I move in the motion perpendicular, there's no change in potential. 